Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. This is a video that I was planning to do a couple days ago, but the weather's kind of went bonkers here and in a lot of other places. Just like three days ago, the temperatures were down to 13 degrees all day, and now it's like in the 50s out here in short sleeves. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, I'm glad that that mini ice age is over and I can get back to making videos out here. Today, I'm going to be telling you about the Van Gogh banjo. Huge thanks to the folks over at Van Gogh for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to say that with this review and any review that I do, my biggest goal is just to give completely honest, unbiased information on a product. I will not tell you anything that is not true, so don't worry about that. And this review is going to be in two parts. Part one, which is this video, I will just be telling you about the banjo, showing it to you, telling you about what it comes with, and playing it a little bit, giving you my overall opinions. And then in part two, I'm going to have a guest, and we're going to talk about the banjo and hopefully find some ways that it could be improved. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. So this banjo comes with a case. It's the type of case that's usually referred to as a gig bag. It's soft. It's pretty thick, so it works well. also comes with a bag of stuff, just various things, banjo user guide. It comes with a tuner, which is nice. It comes with a strap, what appears to be a pickup. And then it also comes with some picks. Now, about these picks, they are plastic. I usually use a blue chip thumb pick which has a plastic blade or it's similar to plastic it may not actually be plastic but a plastic thumb pick is absolutely fine so if the thumb pick that comes with this fits your finger it's fine but it may not fit your finger I will say that the finger picks that come with this I would not recommend using them because they are plastic you can't adjust them they don't fit on your finger very well you don't want to use plastic for bluegrass because it won't give you the right sound either so anyway I'll leave a link in the description to several different finger picks that I would recommend and it also just comes with some various things for adjusting the banjo. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing out, and I'll show it to you. All right, so this is the banjo. As you can see, it just looks like a banjo, but I'll give you some overall opinions on it, just the look of it, the way it's built. One thing that I noticed straight out that I don't really like is that the resonator is attached just using normal Phillips head screws. It doesn't have any way to twist it with your fingers. So that's not super convenient having to use a screwdriver to do that. And also this one screw under the armrest, you can't get to it without taking the armrest off, so that's kind of annoying. It's not a huge deal, but those are just some things that I don't like very much. But the overall outside look of this banjo is not bad at all. Another thing about it, the neck up here, it's pretty narrow. It's not way narrower than my other banjos, but if you got bigger hands, you might have trouble threading the strings without buzzing any notes if you're just starting out. Since I already play banjo and I'm used to doing that with stuff with my fingers, it's not that big of a deal to me, but if I was just starting out, I think it would be a little bit hard probably to fret the strings without buzzing, but if you got smaller hands, it won't be an issue. If you got bigger hands, it probably won't be that big of an issue. It's just something to get used to. The neck is just a tad narrow up here, just barely narrower than other banjos, but it's enough to notice. And then up and down, the neck is pretty fat. So it's basically a narrow and fat neck. So pretty unique it's usable but it's different yeah, anyway you got geared tuners up here a geared fifth string tuner that's always nice I believe it's mahogany wood if I'm correct and whenever you get it in one thing I want to mention the head on this was very very loose which will cause it to not really sound good it has a really really dark tone doesn't really sound like a twangy banjo that's normal banjos usually come from the factory with really loose heads I have another video that shows how to adjust a head I'll link that below so you can go check that out it's not hard but you definitely will want to get the head adjusted to get the banjo sounding good. Also, the neck needed some adjustment. The strings were a little bit high and the neck was buzzing. So I had to do some adjustment in the pot and then I also had to adjust the truss rod to get rid of the buzz, which is, it's all easy to do. You just got to know how to do it. So just look into how to do that or get someone else to do it for you. But anyway, in this price range, this is about what you would expect. I've tried a good bit of different beginner banjos. This isn't any significantly better or worse than any others, so this one's not a bad way to go at all if this is your price range, but if you can spend a little bit more, you could definitely get something better. Anyway, I'll play it for you a little bit. The sound of it isn't fantastic, but it's not terrible. I mean, after I've adjusted the head and stuff, definitely sounds like a banjo, so I'll play a few things for you. <laughs> conclusion to part one of this review I will just say that this banjo for the price it's about what you would expect the fact that it comes with a case and strap and extra strings a tuner that's nice but if your budget goes up to around $500 you could definitely get something better 
for around that price range, but if this is your budget, it's not a bad idea to get this because after all, that's better than no banjo. And it's definitely playable, you heard it. It doesn't sound fantastic, but it's it's usable. It sounds like a banjo. So anyway, if you got any questions, feel free to comment and let me know. I'll do the best I can to have helpful answers. And just be on the lookout for part two, because like I said, I'm going to have a guest. We're going to play it. We're going to talk about it. Hopefully find some ways to make it even better. And anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or it was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.